Export Market Development Grant Scheme, known as EMDG, is a reimbursement scheme. You spend money on eligible export promotion activities, and then Austrade will partially reimburse it in the following year. After you have spent at least $15,000, up to 50% of eligible export promotion expenses are reimbursable, less the first $5,000. The maximum grant is $150,000, but this is subject to available funds. You are allowed up to eight grants, and you don't need to apply in consecutive years. You can choose the years that maximise the benefits of your export promotion activities. From your third grant onwards, your grant entitlement may be subject to an export performance test. This means your entitlement may be based on your export earnings. To apply for a grant, the applicant must be an Australian business. This can be an individual, a partnership, a company, an association, a cooperative, a statutory corporation, or a trustee on behalf of a trust. Not-for-profit organisations that promote a particular industry, region or product may be granted approved body status. Approved bodies are not limited to eight grants. Special rules also apply to related companies. Be sure to check our website for more information. To be eligible, you must be carrying on business in Australia. You must be seeking to export an eligible product, goods, services, intellectual property, or know-how. And you must be spending on eligible export promotion activities. If you are a first-time applicant, you must also meet the grant's entry requirements. You must have sufficient financial resources to carry out your intended activities, have taken reasonable steps to prepare for export, and not be carrying out unlawful or impracticable export activities. To qualify for an EMDG grant, your business must have promoted an eligible product for export, and it must be one of the following. A good made in Australia, a good made outside Australia, where Australia will derive a significant net benefit from its sale overseas. A tourism service? A non-tourism service, except those specified as ineligible in the EMDG regulations. See our website for more information on non-tourism services. An intellectual property right that you own or have exclusive rights to and that mainly resulted from work done in Australia. A trademark that was owned, assigned or first used in Australia, or know-how that mainly resulted from work done in Australia. EMDG supports nine categories of expenditure. These categories cover expenses like travel, website costs, trade fairs, and intellectual property registration costs, to name a few. Further videos in this series provide information on these expenditure categories. If you progress to lodging an EMDG application, you will see that these nine categories are schedules to our application form. It is very important that you keep appropriate records which substantiate the expenses you are claiming. This includes evidence of the expenses and details of their purpose. This can include invoices, receipts and bank statements. There is a section on record keeping in each of the videos in this series. Thinking about how you record and document your EMDG-related expenditure now will assist you when you apply for a grant. It will also make working with Austrade simpler when your claim is assessed. Before you determine which categories your expenditure falls into, there are certain requirements you must meet to be able to claim these expenses. You must have spent the funds in seeking out, creating demand for, or developing an export market for your product. The expense must have been paid by you during the grant year. That is, it must be taken up as an expense in your books of account for that year, not just in consolidated accounts or in the accounts of a related entity. The item you have paid for must have been provided to your company. EMDG operates on a cash accounting basis. The expenses you claim must have been incurred in the grant year.